Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard, episode number 217. Hope you guys have been enjoying the live streams these last couple of days. We are now four days and a couple of hours away from FIFA 18. Streams will be coming very soon, both on YouTube and on Twitch, so make sure you guys do check out my Twitch down below in the description so you guys can already go check that out maybe drop a follow on there that way you get all get you get a notification when i go live on twitch but if you're not fifa fans then uh, then maybe maybe you're not really going to want to um but let's get into some ring uh, some uh, rtg not ring domination and also we have got something to do in today's video and that is to pro a certain somebody and uh, that is Jack Gallagher. So actually what we'll do is, uh, I think I'll just pro him first real quick. We've done him, played the games, ready to be proed finally. Um, it's going to be my second just normal SS17 Pro, so I will definitely take it. There we go, Jack Gallagher Pro. Pretty sick, pretty, pretty sick. Um, so yeah, I didn't even... Give you guys a preview of RTG. Haven't uploaded an episode of Supercard in for three days now, but I have streamed the last two days. So as long as we're streaming, that is fine. But it was time to get a video up. Let's quickly log that Jack, that Jack Gallagher in, and uh, I'll definitely get him into a King of the Ring and sandbag it. But we're not. I'm not sure if I'm really willing to start one at this time. Woke really. I woke up really early today as well. Nine o'clock. Got right on the start of RTG. Then uh, did a bit of studying for two and a half hours, and uh, and yeah, had some lunch. It's almost one o'clock, so I'll start King of the Ring in a couple of hours, I think. <clears throat> I think it's still a little bit too early to start it for me. Um, big show. RTG, that's what you guys want to see, I'm guessing. So nope, I haven't even done a preview, so we'll go through the cards. As, as soon as we click on it, you guys are going to see where I'm at, though. And not too bad, not too bad. Normally I'm only waking up at this time, so not too bad. Finished off the th the first three cards, you know, just the easy cards, and uh, yeah, on John Cena. So let's quickly go through it. We start off with legendary Swagger, Survivor Kofi Kingston, WrestleMania Mark Henry. John Cena is the normal SummerSlam. Hardened Miss, which I've already got proed. Um, Kane, same goes for Kane. I think I've already got a pro Kane. Uh, but Kane Elite card, not too bad. Not not a very high tier though. Chris Jericho Ultimate. Um, pro, no catalogue, and then get ready, guys, because yes, finally, Roman Reigns has graced us with his presence in an event since Team RTG for like months ago. So, we're finally gonna get a Roman Reigns, he's gonna join us in the catalogue, and that is gonna complete uh, all the singles for WrestleMania at least. Well. Just normal cards, not money in the banks and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Sheamus, which I'm a big, big fan of. You guys, if you've been on the channel for a while, you know how much I'm a, a big fan of Sheamus. But uh, not a pro for me, another single. But definitely, I will take it. And then you've got the big show, who will be a pro. Um, so overall, not too bad, actually. Um, but yeah, we've got some grinding ahead of us. Some fun streams. We'll definitely be streaming today. I just wanted to get this video, guys, out for you. So let's get straight into some, uh, to some RTG. I'm guessing we'll play two, maybe three games. We'll see. And we're just going to have a little talk about one. Uh, my predictions video for No Mercy will be coming out. I'll probably be recording it today. It'll be coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, guys. No Mercy predictions. Roman Reigns, Cena. Uh, Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman. Uh, and, and a lot and a lot more. Lot more. So, uh, yeah, I will uh, I'll release that video tomorrow. And uh, Raw and SmackDown. I think it's time for a good old review of Raw and SmackDown. This was the go home show for for Raw. Obviously, No Mercy is this Sunday, 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 twenty fourth, um, which is also the date where you can pre download Viva. Um, but no, yeah, twenty fourth we got we got No Mercy. Am I looking forward to it? Yeah, mm, mm, mm. yeah, I am actually. There are a couple of matches on there that I kind of want to see. But go home show for Raw wasn't great, was it? So key moments, I would say, from what I remember, and remember, it's now Thursday morning. My memory is not the best for short term. Long term, I've got a very good memory. Um, short term, I've got a pretty terrible memory short term. Um, 
So yeah, no, but I let, let, let's just try and think a little bit. We've had we had uh, we had a couple segments. We had the Brock Lesnar Braun Strowman segment. We had um, we had the yeah we had also the Miz uh, Kurt Angle segment to kick off with Jason Jordan coming out. Oh, thank you WWE for announcing the winner of the match before the main event for the six pack challenge. That was my problem with it. Very very predictable. Same thing happened on SmackDown actually with um, the women's match and the main event. So you'll go home show to Raw, first of all. It's um, setting up a uh, your number one contender for your IC title. Brilliant. But you're doing that uh, a week you're on your last show for, for No Mercy. This should have been a rivalry around the IC title already going into No Mercy. There was no match at SummerSlam for the IC title as well. Um, not too sure what's going on there. And it, I don't know, it's just, yeah... Miz hasn't really had any feuds recently, so, like a proper feud, you know, he had a match with Jeff Hardy, he had a six-man match at SummerSlam, he had a couple matches with Jason Jordan, but he hasn't had a proper feud, so this feud with Jason Jordan he is going into it now, but in my opinion he's going into it a bit too late, because we're going to see the match in a week now, less than a week, and there's been not really any build-up to it, because the main event and the last segment for your go-home show is... Um, is is that final segment with the Miz and Jason Jordan, which wasn't bad, but is yeah, is that all? Is 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 that all? <clears throat> but yeah, overall, um, I didn't I didn't think Raw was brilliant. I honestly didn't. Main event was was, was an okay match, but it was just yeah, I don't know. There wasn't much. To do. I I just didn't think. Uh, I did not think it was a great great episode. Of Raw Braun Strowman destroying Enzo Amore. It was pretty cool. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, pretty nice toss into the ring and a. A pretty brutal looking choke slam. The um, yeah, the interview Michael Cole and uh, Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman. Apparently that was recorded over a week ago. But uh, yeah, that was not that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Quite uh, quite enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, I, I there's literally Bailey returned. Um, Whoop de doo. Um, it's got added to the main event, but not sorry, not to the main event. Oh, sorry, the the women's match at No Mercy, which I I'm a bit angry because there's just like four people in now, and then you're adding a fifth. It's, I I like to see one on ones or triple threats. I'm a big big fan of triple threats. I love a good old triple threat match, but um, yeah, I would have loved to see, I don't know, like Alexa Bliss, Emma Nia Jax. <laughs> Um, but no, no, it's, uh, yeah, Bailey getting added in there, I don't know, I suppose she was the, uh, the opponent for Alexa at SummerSlam, but then got injured, but yeah, not happy about that. Let's move on to SmackDown, and, uh, SmackDown kicked off with, uh, with Daniel Bry, Shane McMahon, who kicked off the show? Shane McMahon, I think, um, no, I think it was Daniel Bryan, no, it was definitely Daniel Bryan, no, it was, it was, whatever, <clears throat> Someone kicked off the show. I'm pretty sure it was Daniel, because yeah, no, Daniel definitely came out. Anyway, um, what what did we really have on SmackDown that was great? A bad Jinder Mahal segment, a, a decent match between Randy Orton and Aiden English, um, a predictable main event for the number one contender match, uh, Charlotte won, which there it was again, kind of a uh, kind of easy to determine that. So, um, overall, I would say SmackDown, again, wasn't brilliant, but the one thing that kind of saved SmackDown was how brilliant Kevin Owens was. Kevin Owens has now taken kind of the role of a, of kind of like, well, he's kind of like the face of SmackDown now, you know? Um, no, sorry, not the face, but, well, he's not the face, because he's a heel, but I mean he's the face of SmackDown, as is, he's kind of the top guy right now into Smack, in, in, in SmackDown, the main storyline is revolving around him. Which is um, which I'm I'm enjoying because I'm a fan of Kevin Owens and uh, and I quite like it. But yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much it for SmackDown. Again, you know, uh, great segment with Rusev, uh, Renee Young. Oh, you seem delighted. What does that mean? It was a brilliant segment. I love that. Um, no fashion, no fashion files, which was disappointing. But anyway, guys, I have really been rambling on about, about Raw and SmackDown. I gave you guys a proper review there, or what I call proper review at least, because I could go more into depth, but this is not a podcast on Raw and SmackDown review. This is just an episode of Supercard. But um, 
I do like uh, to at least give you guys what I think of Raw and SmackDown. I, you know, it's only once a week. I do it. I don't, you know, I, I don't do a special video for Raw and SmackDown. So just give you guys what I think. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about Raw and SmackDown because what well, interests me. I, I would have to say that I enjoyed SmackDown more this week than I did Raw. Um, just like last week, to be fair. And no, the week before was a really bad one. But I don't know. I don't know. This Jinder Mahal... These last two segments have been bad, Nakamura hasn't really come out, their feud hasn't progressed at all on that. I didn't really talk about AJ Styles, but yeah, it'd be AJ Styles and Baron Corbin with Ty Dillinger. That's quite interesting actually, because I'm a big fan of uh, AJ Styles. AJ Styles is my favourite active wrestler right now. Um, and Aiden English is awesome, I'm, 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 I like Aiden English, not Aiden English, sorry, Ty Dillinger, <laughs> I do like Aiden English as well, but anyway, yeah, we'll leave it, we'll leave it at that, guys, for, for Raw and Smanner Review, as I said, let me know what you guys think about it, and, uh, and there we go, we finished our second game, and I think we'll leave it at two games, just because I really want to quickly record, um, my predictions video for No Mercy, and, um, yeah, just talk more, actually, but, Talk, talk. Now we're just gonna. Now we're gonna ramble on and have a have a reason why to ramble on because it's no mercy predictions. So I'll do that. We'll see if I get it for you guys out tonight. But I'm gonna record this. I'm gonna upload this video. Then I'm gonna stream as well uh, today. So maybe just leave it for tomorrow. There's 20 points on John Cena, guys. Two games done. We're gonna keep grinding on this Cena card. We're gonna keep grinding in RTG over the course of today. We're going to join the King of the Ring in a couple of hours. We're going to sandbag that Jack Gallagher. We're still waiting on a member to join the team before we can start a battleground. As soon as I mention it, that's not him. Never mind. Even though... Even though... Wow. I would not mind accepting you, mate. No, I would not. <laughs> would not mind accepting you. Captain, you, be you better hurry up, man. Better hurry up. If you're watching this video, dude, request. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Note, once again, we're less than five days away from FIFA. So we're going to have plenty of streams coming out on that. 2K18 comes out a little bit later on. But we're going to do some streams about that as well. And yeah, we're going to be streaming a little bit for RTG. No Mercy predictions coming out soon. Drop a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you very soon. Till then, stay cool. And peace out.